Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palanepan Manikam. In this video, we are going to see if at all you are given an option to choose between Covishield or Covaxin. If that happens, which vaccine you should choose? Let's dive deep into it. To be honest, beggars can be choosers. We are so hungry right now that any vaccine or any food on the table, we are willing to take it. So I still stick to my recommendation that please take whichever vaccine that you can get as soon as possible. Although I can say beggars can be choosers because last time somebody asked me for food, I gave chicken biryani. He was like, sir, today is Saturday. Do you have veg biryani? So this video is only for people who have the option to choose between Covishield and Covaxin. And let's see which patient should get Covishield and which patient should get Covaxin based on the facts available. My friend Saravana Kumar is like, hey pal, don't tell me the politically right answer of get whichever vaccine is available. I want to know which one is better. Covishield or Covaxin? What about the mechanism of action? What are the participants that were included in the trial? What is the efficacy? What are the side effects? How about the mutant strains? I was like, dude, I'm so glad that you're asking all these questions. When is your vaccine appointment? I'm just saying, Chichi, vaccine is not going to I'm just asking just for general knowledge uh, so that I can put in Facebook as a status update, no? So let's start with the mechanism of action. So both the vaccines work on the same concept that you inject some kind of coronavirus inside your body as a trailer so that the body produces antibodies to be ready for the main picture when it comes in. So Covishield, as you guys know, it is a dummy virus. It doesn't have the coronavirus completely. All it has is a genetic sequence to code for the spike protein of the coronavirus when injected into the body. So that genetic sequence once inside the body creates a spike protein for which antibodies are produced and that is what the trailer that we're talking about. So Covaxin does this movie trailer bit by injecting the entire virus. The, all the proteins of the viruses are intact but it cannot replicate. The name is virus but doesn't have any power. It's exactly similar to the husband's. The name is head of the household but we don't have any power. So Covishield is like the trailer of the first half of the horror movie where they show everything as very good and then just show ghosts here and there. Covaxin mechanism of action is like the trailer of the second half of the horror movie where they show the real deal. Unless it is Kanchana, doesn't matter. Every trailer is the same. Tirinjiricha? Ellarukku tirinjiricha? Dei, Kanchana only tirinjiricha? So with regards to mechanism of action, Covaxin might be slightly advantageous than Covishield because the antibodies produced are against many segments of the entire virus so that the immunity produced almost resembles the immunity arising out of a natural infection. So Covaxin movie trailer gives you an entirely complete movie with all drama, action, sentiment, humor. But with Covishield, the movie is only action but it does the job as well. Another good thing about this mechanism of action is we have been exposed to this kind of methodology in the past like polio vaccines. So this is a tried and tested method. How about the research participants in the study done with Covishield and Covaxin? So in Covishield, the participants were in UK, Brazil and South Africa and in Covaxin, all the patients were Indian patients. AstraZeneca did do a bridging study on small number of Indian participants, uh, but those results have not been released to public domain. With regards to Covaxin, this is the largest clinical trial in India. All the participants were from India, but the biggest problem with Covaxin is they excluded majority of the chronic conditions, which will include gastrointestinal, respiratory, cardiac, or any other medical problems. This is like the most expensive Bollywood movie ever made, but they did not go to any foreign location. Every location was within India, so very apt for Indian population. The third point is efficacy. You all know that Covishield efficacy is close to 72% and Covaxin efficacy is close to 81%. But there is a huge difference between efficacy and effectiveness. Efficacy is what we observe in clinical trials. Effectiveness is when this vaccination is given to millions of people and we are going to find out whether it is effective or not. Usually, if the, if, even if the vaccine is 100% efficacious, the effectiveness is definitely less. We just don't know how much. 
So don't focus on numbers too much. It is similar to Royal Challengers Bangalore buying Glenn Maxwell for 14 crores and he gets out in the first match. So with regards to efficacy, both the vaccines are equally comparable. So there is no major difference in that. So regarding mutant strains, we don't have significant data for both the vaccines, even though Covishield research was done in South Africa, Brazil and UK. This was done much earlier than these variants which came up in the later part of the year. So there is no significant data to compare. I think the major difference will come down to the side effect profile of these vaccines. For example, with Covishield, the risk of anaphylaxis and allergic reaction is slightly more than Covaxin. So if you have had allergic reaction to anything in the past, you could avoid this vaccine made by the British company. Namma India history la rikra ore allergy ye British company na. Another important factor to consider is if your immunity is suppressed because of any condition like cancer, autoimmune diseases, rheumatoid arthritis or like any medication that suppresses your immunity, it is better to stay away from Covaxin because Covaxin actually has the original virus. Even though it is killed and inactivated, we just don't know the data in these immunosuppressed patients. For these patients, it is better to opt for Covishield. Remember, if your immunity is low because of all these conditions, you are shielding from Corona by taking Covishield vaccine. Your body is gun body. If you have Covishield, you can take the Covaxin vaccine. Bottom line is, all vaccines are good to protect you from death and also from severe hospitalization. So, if you have an option to choose between Covishield or Covaxin, then please look into the facts that we discussed and then choose what you want. So the reports of blood clots after Covishield vaccination is not proven. So don't worry too much about it. There have been 17 million doses of Covishield has been given so far. So these kind of reports are bound to happen. It has not happened with Covaxin yet because they have not reached that number yet. I will not be surprised if something else comes up associated with Covaxin down the road. So I don't think that should be a differentiating factor. If you have taken the Covishield first dose already, Please do not change your plan of action because of these reports and do not take the second dose with Covaxin. Stick to one brand. And if you're really concerned about these reports, you could wait until these reports settle down and it has been proven that it is not associated and then you can take the second dose, but do not change the brand. If you have any questions, please put that in the comment section. If you have a detailed questions, please send an email to askdocpal at gmail.com. I got an email in that email address. Hey Dr. Pal, I got admitted with COVID-19 in Arya Hospital. They charged me 50,000 rupees. Please see the attached receipt and then see whether we can decrease the expenses to 25,000 rupees. Yo, I'm not going to be a bad guy. 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 I hope this video helps you to make an informed decision to choose a vaccine only if you have an option to choose. If not, just get any vaccine as soon as possible. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.